this is Bonnie, a uh, scribe for Uncivilized Vitality, and um, I'm just here to do a book review. So this is Herbal Medic, a green barrette's guide to emergency medical preparedness and natural first aid. Uh, this is by Sam Kaufman, and apparently he's the founder of the Herbal Medics Academy. So I picked this book up about a month ago, and um, was gonna surprise Dr. Mori with it. And of course he had already had it and read it and liked it. So um, I read it as well. And it really is more of like a um, reference book, right? But it wouldn't hurt to read the whole thing and have that knowledge, right? What I really like is that um, if you weren't an herbalist, you um, would easily be able to use this book as well because he talks about um, basic stuff like in the beginning talks about first aid, um, how to assess the situation, um, basic skills you need like how to stop bleeding, uh, sealing wounds, CPR, things like that. Um, he illustrates first aid techniques and then from there he talks about like the um, basics of herbalism so that you can understand what he's talking about in the future. So he goes over um, the different, um, uh, like, sorry, the different organ systems. So the urinary tract, immune system, all that, and he breaks that all down. Um, there's a section on how to make medicine. And as somebody who thought I knew a fair amount about medicine, there was information in here that was new to me. So that was really exciting. Um, also how to like actually do a herbal formula which is really nice because a lot of times when you're starting out you just do simples you just make like one herb tinctures and um teas and things like that but he really addresses like how to do a formula which is nice and then the herbal medic in action so the things that are covered are shock wounds burns fractures environmental injuries venoms and poisons which i read very <laughs> very closely um, as we have the rattlesnake hunt coming up. Um, viral and bacterial infections, ears, um, eyes, nose, and throat, acute care, and emergency childbirth, which was actually contributed by a midwife, so that helped him write that section, which I just loved. Um, and then there is a Materia Medica, which is um, Kind of like a glossary of herbs so in the back here he has 70 herbs that um are broken down by like this one is sweet annie and then it has common names the botanical name what family it's in tells you the basic actions of the plant antiviral things like that um medical uses um how to use it things like that so that's really cool too um i felt like this is pretty complete. Um, there is a glossary as well, recommended reading. Um, and then in the back, there's just a good um, chart here that has common and Latin names uh, for herbs that aren't listed in the uh, Materia Medica. So if you are trying to, um, if you're trying to, you know find an herb or you heard about a herb and you want to make sure you're you know talking about the right one you want to check the latin name right because lots of herbs have so many different names that multiple common names um depending on where you go in the world right so um this you know really helps you to um be prepared and prepared in a way that you're um, creating a relationship with the land and you're working with herbal medicine, um, which is a little bit different than how lots of people are prepared medically. I think both are great, but um, I know that I will be having my uh, herbal tinctures with me when I go to the rattlesnake hunt. So if this is something you're into, you know, being prepared medically for certain things, um, and um, you're also into herbs or like alternative medicine, I would really suggest this. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to cover. He, um, pulse points, covers pulse points. Uh, there was lots of things that as 
someone who doesn't have any medical background that were helpful to me. You know, normal vital sign ranges, things like that, um, common methods for clearing the spine, basic skills related to like tourniquets, things like that um, in depth that were really helpful for me. Um, that I, you know, that's not my wheelhouse, but this is like, help. this was helpful in reading and also will be helpful on my shelf if something comes up. Um, this is a really good one to have on your shelf and to reference. So give it a, um, give it a read and if you're local, feel free to borrow it from me. All right, thanks.